What is soul food? It is taking potentially healthy food and making it unhealthy and then eating a lot of it. Let's start out with chicken. Protein, very healthy, potentially. But what would he do? Rub it down in buttermilk and then dip it in flour and then in grease, oil, lard, or some sort of something and fry it and then we eat it. What about rice? Potentially healthy, great source of something. I don't know, I'm not a nutritionist. But what do we do? Cover it in gravy. And the onions that we put in there, instead of just putting fresh onions in there, no, we rub them down in butter and fry them in the butter and then put them in gravy, which is just old grease, and then cover the old healthy rice and make it unhealthy. Collard greens, by itself, a great leafy vegetable, a good source of something. But what do we do? Put a whole bunch of pork fat in it. Ham hocks, neck bones, salt pork, some sort of pork meat's gotta go into it because we're not gonna just eat some fresh greens. We buy them fresh and then we pork them up. That's what we do, we just pork them up. What else do we have? Um, what about yams? Potentially a healthy eat, but what do we do? We cover it in sugar and butter and marshmallows and we make candied yams that are all sweet and syrupy and oh so unhealthy. And a potential dessert, healthy peaches. Fresh peaches, mmm, would be so good. But when we make peach cobbler, it's covered in butter and sugar and sweetness and all that until it's just syrupy goodness and it's just more sugar and more butter. And that's why we wonder why black people are fat. Because we take the potentially healthy food and take the healthy out of it and then we eat it. And we drink some sweet tea with it. With a lot of sugar. Put a whole bunch of salt and stuff, a whole bunch of butter, a whole bunch of grease. We gotta stop y'all after Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. Oh, after Easter. Okay, then we'll start. We'll start in the summer. All right, let's go Blacks.